This is Mary. Welcome to the IHC Craft Room. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this super cool shamrock dot painted rock. Look at how cool the background is. It's a really fun technique and I'm really looking forward to sharing with you how to make this happen. So grab all your stuff and let's get crafty. For materials, we'll begin with a five inch oval art stone that I poured from mortar, acrylic paint in a number of different colors from jewel green, sour apple, gold, titanium white, crystal glitter, and black. I'm also gonna be using some chalk paint for the base coat and some matte varnish for base coat protection and gloss varnish to protect the entire project. For tools, we'll begin with some toothpicks, some Q-tips, my dotting tools as always, a paint palette, plastic plate, a paintbrush, and a heart stencil. Let's start by applying a couple of thin coats of black chalk paint to our art stone, making sure to get over the edges and at least partly onto the bottom. As I've mentioned before, I don't paint the base of my rocks until I'm ready to complete my project, but I definitely wanna make sure I get some over the edges. Once the paint is dry, it'll be time to move on to the fun part, which is creating our swirling pool of paint. Basically, what we're doing is adding drops of paint, big dollops, big swirls and squiggles and lines of paint in different spots around this plate, ensuring that we're getting a good mix of all the colors and getting a pretty decent sized pool of paint because we're gonna be dipping this entire rock surface. We need to make sure that there'll be a full paint coverage. So you do need to use a considerable amount of paint to make that happen. Once we have the paint the way we want it, it'll be time to start swirling it together. And I started off using a toothpick, but I found that it was a little too fine of a point. And so I moved on to a shish kebab skewer, which is a little bit thicker and made it a little easier to swirl and combine all of these different colors of paint together. Something to make note of here is that you want to be swirling and combining the paint, but not mixing it together so that it becomes a completely blended new color. You wanna be able to see each individual paint color combining and swirling in waves throughout the entire pool of paint. That's what's gonna make that background really shine. It's time to dip the rock in our paint pool and see what we get. Now, I made a bit of a mistake here. When you lay a rock down in the paint pool, what you should be doing is thinking about covering the full surface, which means you have to kind of like rock the rock back and forth a little bit, pressing down so that the entire surface is covered which is what I did not do here. And because I missed a little spot, I had to add some more paint and dip it again. This time when I lay the stone down, I'm gonna make sure to rock it back and forth a little further so that the outer edges of the stone make contact with the swirly paint pool. And man, did that come out beautifully. I got really lovely shots of color on this stone. Here's an IHC quick tip. I'm gonna set this paint pool aside to use on some other projects. I often dip multiple stones using a pool this size not to mention using it for some other projects too. I let this paint dry for three days before applying a couple of thin coats of varnish to protect our beautiful base. Now that our base coat is protected, I'm gonna use a chalk pencil and this heart stencil to start drawing the leaves of our shamrock. This stencil is part of the scraps that I saved from my Hello Valentine door hanger tutorial. See, I knew I'd find a way to use it. Isn't that like the mantra of every crafter? I know I'll use it one day, I swear. Well, guess what? I did, so I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> I'm going to extend the lines of my hearts so that they intersect and cross each other. And then using a damp Q-tip, I'll erase the base of each heart, keeping only the lines that make our shamrock leaf. I'm gonna just keep doing that, keep adjusting and erasing and redrawing until I'm satisfied with the overall look of the shamrock. And then I'll finish it off by adding a stem and we are ready to start dotting our shamrock. Using the 2.5 millimeter white stylus, I'm gonna start dotting around the outline of our shamrock using gold paint. You'll notice that I skip forward to add a dot anywhere there is a sharp point, such as at the center of each leaf and at the start of our stem. By doing that, I can avoid crowding my dots or accidentally leaving a large gap because a dot won't fit. So it really does help with spacing. I'm obviously using my dotting tools to do this, but if you're working on this project with your kids or you don't have dotting tools, please don't let that stop you. Find yourself a paintbrush and just flip it over and use the top of the paintbrush. It'll give you a beautiful dot. And if you don't have the paintbrush handy, have a look around your house. You'll be surprised how many items can be useful for dot painting. For the stem of our shamrock, I'm making all of the dots equal in size for the most part until I get about three quarters of the way down the stem. And from that point, I'm gonna walk the dots down to a micro dot finish. 
almost as if the shamrock is growing out of the bottom of our art stone into existence. Walking the dots is a technique where you fill your stylus with paint and then proceed to dot without adding more paint to your tool. This will make every dot following it be a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller until you run out of paint completely to finish off with a micro dot. You may already know, I am a strong advocate for letting your paint dry before moving on to tricky dots or tight, narrow spaces. Unfortunately, I was under a bit of a time crunch while I was working on this project and I wasn't able to follow my golden rule of letting paint dry. So I was channeling the steadiest of hands when I went back to add a couple of dots to the outline here. To complete our shamrock, we're going to add some micro dots in between each of the gold dots on our outline. To do that, we'll be using the 0.8 millimeter yellow stylus and some black paint. This will just kind of tie that black base coat into the shamrock design and help define the shape against the vibrant background. The secret to micro dots is to number one, use a very fine tipped stylus, of course. But what really ensures that your micro dots stay tiny is twofold. First, monitoring the amount of paint loaded onto your dotting tool. If you have too much paint on your dotting tool, your micro dots won't be micro anymore. So you want to make sure to consistently wipe the paint accumulation off and re-dip into the paint before adding another micro dot. The second thing is pressure. If you press down too firmly with your dotting tool, that's a sure way to add more paint than you need and it will make your micro dots not so micro. Just a few more dots and our shamrock will be complete. Thank you for joining me on this St. Patrick's Day inspired dot painted tutorial. I hope it brings a little luck of the Irish into your world. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe so that we can continue to get crafty together. Toodaloo!